What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to download and install the Distant Horizons mod for Minecraft 1.21. This mod is an incredible addition to your game, allowing you to extend your render distance significantly, so you can see far beyond the usual limits in Minecraft. To download the Distant Horizons mod, open up your browser and head to this CurseForge page. For easier access, the link is provided in the video description. Once you're on the page, navigate to the Files tab. This tab lists all the available versions for the mod, each compatible with different versions of Minecraft. On the right side of each file, you'll see a column labeled Game Version. Make sure you're downloading the version that matches your Minecraft installation. In this case, you want the one that says 1.21.1 or 1.21. To download the correct file, click on the three dots next to the file version and then select Download File. Your download should begin automatically. While the Distant Horizons mod is downloading, open a new tab in your browser and search for Minecraft NeoForge Download. NeoForge is the mod loader that you'll need to run Distant Horizons, since the latest version at the time of making this video is from NeoForge. NeoForge is the mod loader that you'll need to run Distant Horizons. It's essential to match the version of NeoForge with the version of the mod. Once you're on the NeoForge website at 9minecraft.net slash NeoForge installer, select the appropriate version and then click on the installer button. When both the Distant Horizons mod and the Forge installer are downloaded, you can close your web browser and proceed to the next step. Open up your file explorer and navigate to your downloads folder. You should see both the Distant Horizons mod and the Forge installer files there. Now, let's start by installing NeoForge. Double-click on the NeoForge installer file. If nothing happens, or a different program opens, you might not have Java installed on your computer. Java is required to run Minecraft mods. So if you don't have it, head over to java.com and download the latest version. Once Java is installed, right-click the Forge installer file again and select Open With, and then choose Java TM Platform SE Binary. This should bring up the Forge installer window. In the NeoForge installer, make sure Install Client is selected, and then click on OK. Forge will now begin installing your necessary files. Once it's finished, you'll see a message saying Successfully installed Client Profile Forge. Click OK to close the installer. Next, we need to add the Distant Horizons mod to Minecraft. Open the Minecraft Launcher and select the Minecraft Java Edition from the left sidebar. At the top, click on the Installations tab. Scroll through the list until you find the profile labeled NeoForge. Next to the NeoForge profile, you'll see a folder icon. Click on this icon to open the Minecraft directory. In this folder, locate the mods folder. If you don't see a mods folder, you can create one by right-clicking and selecting New Folder and then naming it Mods. Once you have the mods folder open, drag and drop the Distant Horizons mod file from your desktop into this folder. Now. The mod is in place and ready to go. Close the file explorer, return to the Minecraft launcher and make sure the Forge profile is selected. Click play to start Minecraft. As the game loads, NeoForge will initialize and you'll see the mod being loaded as part of the game. When Minecraft opens, you can confirm that the Distant Horizons mod is installed by clicking on mods from the main menu. You should see Distant Horizons listed here. Once confirmed, load up a world and you'll notice the dramatic increase in render distance, allowing you to see much further than before. If you want to tweak the Distant Horizon settings, you can do so by pausing the game and clicking on Options. In the top left corner, you'll see the Distant Horizons config option. Click on that, and you can adjust the settings to your liking, whether it's increasing the render distance even further, adjusting performance settings, or customizing how the mod functions. I hope this helped you out, Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.